What's up you guys, Isaac with the Chance here for my 178th video review. And today we're gonna to be looking at the Transformers, the Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Metalhawk. And he is part of the Transformers Legacy Evolution line. So for the package, you got you got this very cool open window that showcases Metalhawk inside, and his name is Metalhawk next to the Autobot symbol. And he has the Transformers text logo there. <coughs> Excuse me. And he's part of the Transformers Legacy Evolution toy line, and he was made by Hasbro. And you get a really cool artwork image of, of him in his jet mode. On the side, you get a really cool artwork image of him in his robot mode. And you get a really cool um, <coughs> artwork of Legacy Evolution. <coughs> Excuse me. On the back of the box, you get... Metal Hawk in his robot mode and his jet mode, and he transforms in 18 steps. And he's also a slight redeco of the Transformers Kingdom Cyclonus, the one up there. And he's basically the same. So, so for the package, so for the package of Metal Hawk, that's about it. So let me get him out here and see how awesome and let's see how awesome and um, Japanese accurate he actually is. So here we have Metal Hawk open up in his package and also in his jet mode and i really love the jet mode how badass it looks um i think hasbro really did a fantastic job with the with this uh jet mode like i said it, it is a is a slight remodel of the kingdom cyclonus which i got up there and now i have metal hawk so i can imagine if both metal hawk and cyclonus will have a bit of a face-off fight which i think that would be really cool um so taking a look at so taking a look at the, the color scheme, we got this. Uh, we got the uh, the red. Here we have here is this this red windshield with the blue nose cone, with this navy blue nose cone that's painted in this navy blue paint. Then we get this really cool. Then we get this interesting um this light gray silver whatever you want to call this um color scheme. So I, I think this is a silver color, even though it's not made out of gun. It's not really out, made out of um, gun metal silver or anything. It's just um a like like a regular silver. And you do get the navy the navy blue. You get some navy blue color scheme up top, like some here to the legs, which these will become his legs. And you do get red for the wings, and you get um navy blue for his arms and some lighter silver gray color scheme and then on the bottom you do see his uh chest and now with down with the accessories with the accessories he comes with is this sword and he comes with these two blasters let's start off with is his sword now the sword does look pretty cool um I believe I'm not sure what kind of sword this is this is mostly like a Cybertronian sword of some sort but this is his actual sword that that he actually came with. It is painted in this um really nice um silver color. And same thing goes for these blasters. He has these blasters in this color scheme. And you can also attach these together. So if you watch carefully, you can also add these together just like that. And you got the blasters together, which are really nice. If you want to split them up, it's literally up to you. And last but not least, he comes with this really interesting menu that he... This is the menu that he has. So it's up to you. If you do have this guy, if you want to put him in his robot mode or his jet mode, it's literally up to you. So I guess that's... Ooh, I'm sorry. I guess that's it for um, the jet form and the accessories for... I guess that's it for the jet form and the accessories. So let's get into transformation for Metal Hawk. So for transformation for Metal Hawk is kind of simple. So first, what you want to do is go ahead and like move the arms out of the way just like that. Then you want to um, come around here, grab this wing. You want to separate this wing piece from his forearm and just like bent the forearm. Um. Give me a sec. Oh, well. And then now you want to go ahead and 
just push this wing all the way back to where his arm is and do the same thing for this side. So I was absolutely right. You want to go ahead and push this forearm forward to keep things out of the way. Then you want to grab this wing piece and push it all the way back just like that. And you got, and now you got the arms all the way done. But the last but not least is you want to take the, the, the hand, the, the fist out. And now you got the arms all done. <clears throat> and then now next up are the legs. You want to go ahead and set, you want to split these just like that gently. Then you want to grab these. Then you want to separate the legs. Grab this. You want to grab this piece right here and move that to reveal his foot all the way out. Then you want to slot this piece all the way in and push it in until it clicks. Then you do the same thing for this side. Grab this. You grab this piece, push it up, reveal his other foot. Push that all the way in and until you hear a click. And now we got the arms and the legs all done. And now, and also you want to go ahead and turn this thing all the way around just like that. Now, before you put the arms in, you want to go ahead and grab this chest. Just take that out and do the same thing for his back. And you want to push the, the nose cone all the way down, just like that. Then you want to rotate his head all the way out by closing the chest up. And you want to close up his, his um, you want to close up the back, just like that. And now for the fun part, you want to go ahead, do is click. You want to go ahead and push these forward and push that in and push that in. Wait, there we go. And now, one sec. Oh yeah. So just push this forward, push these pieces forward, get these arms out of the way and push that forward just like that. And I think that's it for that. There we go. Uh, it's all the way in. Got everything fixed up a little bit. Double check everything. And I guess we are done. And when you're done, there you have, there you have Metal Hawk in this robot mode. So here we have Metal Hawk in this robot mode. And this is a damn good representation of Metal Hawk. Um, like I said, I don't even know what, what, what universe he's from or what iteration he's from, but I don't even know where he's from, but this is, this was actually my first time experiencing this figure or at least this character for the most part. But I believe he's from the G1 Japanese cartoon, I guess. Like, I think it's Headmasters, I guess. I don't really know. But I'll I'll probably research him. I'll probably probably do some research on this guy and see which universe he's from. So taking a look at Metal Hawk's robot mode, I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty looks pretty sick. And I think Hasbro did a fantastic job. The way they made him as a little bit like a slight redeco of um of um Cyclonus from Transformers Kingdom. Since I've since I have Cyclonus and now I have Metal Hawk. And I love the color scheme for the robot mode. We got the, we got it right here. You do get you do get red for his um his knee pads. And you do get um you get some navy blue for his um for his lower legs. You get red for his feet and then you get red for these pieces. You get silver for the um for the for the fist and I think that's and then you get navy blue for navy blue and silver for the arms. And, and then right here, we got this really interesting gold, this yellow golden 
color scheme for his um, his chest and his stomach. And you do get the Autobot symbol. And I do want to say the head sculpt looks pretty cool. Um, even though it's probably it's you know the head sculpt looks pretty cool. You get re you get silver for. You get some really cool, I think this is gunmetal silver for his face, blue for the eyes, and gold for his um helmet. And the color scheme does look pretty nice. Now, one of the things I'm now I'm not the biggest fan of are these. Now with Cyclonus, they they actually like I think with this piece, they could have like at have this piece and like close it up just to avoid this from happening. Well, and also you can open it back up and put the fist back in, which 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 would have been better. And same thing goes to this. But I guess they were running out of ideas, I guess. I mean, it is what it is. So for articulation, and also you do get the back of him. So for articulation, when he does look, um, he can look up. He can't really look up, but he can look up a little bit, but he can look down a little bit. He can look this way. He can look that way. He can move his arms, his elbow joints. He can move this arm, this elbow joint. Move his leg joints like he's doing a split. Then he can move his knee joints and his ankle joints. And that's it for that. So with the accessories, uh, with, the, with this sword right here, um, I don't think it matters which hand. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter which hand. Um, so you want to attach this sword i mean or you can put it on his back so if you see this peg that will slot right about here i mean it's up to you if you have this figure but with me i'd rather have mine's hold um hold on to his um yeah just to hold on to his sword for 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 action and But if you want to take this out and have him hold both of his blasters just like that and do the other one on this side, and there you go. And now he's ready for action. And or you can put them back together as I showed you. You can put these back together and have him hold him hold his weapons just like that. Then you can have him hold his sword. And now he's ready for more action. There we go. So I guess that's it for Metal Hawk. I guess that's it for from for uh Metal Hawk, and I think that's about it for, 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 for him. So really cool figure. I really love the figure. It looks pretty cool though. And I think that's it for, for this figure and nothing much else to say. So be sure to like, subscribe, press the notification button, follow me on Instagram, comment down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.